Eric Weber here from Black Brothers Company, here to talk to you about adhesive application rates using a Black Brothers glue spreader. First, we're going to start off by using a two by one piece of substrate, and you want to use the substrate that you are going to be using in production to give you the most accurate gram weights. Uh, you'll be doing this at the beginning of the shift or, or at the beginning of any time you're switching a substrate. Uh, right now, we're going to be using the single top part of this equipment to dial in the top portion of those rolls. Uh, the reason you want to do that is you want to separate your gram weights from your top and bottom. Uh, if you do that all at once, you'll actually don't know what you got from your top and bottom. So do them independently, do them from left, center, and right to get the most accurate gram weights per top and bottom roll. To start, you find the thickness of this part. We found a thickness at 760 thousandths. I am going to go to my upper elevator here. I'm going to drop that down to about 15 thousandths under compression. The reason why you want to do that is because this will go down to the low areas of an inconsistent part. So I'm gonna bring this down 15 thousandths under from what I measured from my substrate. Once I got my thickness setting, I got glue in the machine. Let's tear that board. In this case, I got a two by one. Uh, normally you do uh, grams per square foot. So whatever number I get, I'm gonna divide by two because I'm using a two foot by one foot. Uh, you can use a one by one, a one foot by one foot to give your gram scale the most accurate reading. I'm going to hand that substrate to my operator. He's going to feed it on the right side of the equipment. Me visually inspecting this, one, I'm looking for full coverage of the adhesive. If I see that there's any spots missing, that's a good indication that my elevator is not low enough. I'm not hitting the low areas of that substrate. Uh, for me visually, I am seeing a full coverage so I feel like my elevator's in the right spot. I do see a consistent groove pattern. Next, I'll weigh the board. Again, I'm using a two by one here. Uh, I am reading about 19 grams per square foot. I do want to hit 10 grams per square foot. I may open up my, uh, my doctor roll just a hair to get there. But right now, I'm just under 10, 10 grams per square foot on this panel. I do feel like I was a little low. Uh, I needed to reach 10 grams per square foot. So what I'm gonna do as an operator, is I'm gonna to go to that single hand wheel on this side of the equipment, and I'm actually going to open that doctor roll. I'm gonna move it away from my coating roll. So there are thousandths inch increments on this glue spreader. You don't have to move it very much. Right now, I just move about three thousandths open. And now I'm gonna do the same process again. I'm gonna tear my, my gram scale. I'm gonna use another clean substrate. There you go. Visually, it looks okay. There you go, 20 grams per square foot, I've hit my 10 mark. Now I did this on the right side of the machine. I'll do this process on the left and then the center to make sure that this is a five foot wide machine to make sure that my, my right side and my left side and my center all are reaching the gram weights that need to be achieved on this certain adhesive. So again, we'll follow the same process we did on the right side and now we'll ask the operator to feed it in on the left. Now, me looking at this, I can see visually there's actually a lighter coat weight, which is fine. You can make that adjustment accordingly. Yeah, so I measured at 14 grams per, uh, so 14 grams on this two by one, I'm measuring at seven grams per square foot. So I hit 10 on this right side. I need to open this side of my doctor roll to reach this 10 grams per square foot. Perfectly normal on the equipment. We'll show you how to do that. Now we're on the infeed side of the equipment. Uh, this is where I'm going to make the adjustment to this upper doctor roll. Uh, as you can see here, I got a whole single hand wheel adjustment wheel here. This actually moves the whole doctor roll in and out in unison. Uh, as I mentioned, this right side is putting on the accurate weight. This left side here is putting on a low weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break a coupling, this one. So now I can make adjustments to either end of that doctor roll without affecting the one side. So there's a pin here. You just pull it out, and it's simple as that. Now I can adjust these rolls uh, accordingly. So I gave it a good quarter turn uh, or two quarter turn. From a visual standpoint, I see that I am okay. I'll move it back, 
put the pin back in place. So now I can use that hand wheel on one side to move everything back in place. All right, I'm back on the outfeed side again. Uh, I've looked at it, I made my adjustments. I'll do the same process. Let's tear this next board. Again, as I'm looking at these, I'm always visually inspecting to make sure my groove pattern is transferring evenly across the board. I am at 20 grams per square foot. Divide that by two, and now you're back down, back to the 10 gram. So from my right to my left, we're at 10. We will go down the center to make sure that there's no deflection issues or wearing of that roll pattern. This groove pattern is specifically designed to put on a certain amount of adhesive. So you are going to use that doctoral take up to use that doctoral to push into that groove pattern so you are only applying what's in that groove. So right now, I'm just a hair into the 21. I am okay with that. That gets me to my 10 grams per square foot from left, center, right. Now that we figured out our top roll and we got that calibrated accordingly, uh, we have added adhesive to the bottom roll. This machine does come equipped with liquid level and its own pump. So I was able to pump glue just to the top section. And now I pump glue just to the bottom section. Uh, so now we'll be doing our gram weights for just this bottom roll. Okay. When I'm looking down there is for a groove pattern. You notice I am wearing gloves because now it's a little bit messier. I will now stack it on. There's a little bit of subtraction to do. You know you're hitting 10 grams on the top section, so you do have to minus that from the bottom as well. And once you find that difference, you'll find your gram weights from the bottom. Another common issue you see with glue spreading is une uneven glue application throughout the roll. And this can be as easy as a visual inspection of the roll. If you notice on this left side of the machine, I can see the groove pattern. On this right side of the equipment, you got that roping effect. You don't see that, glue, uh, that groove pattern too well. And a way to uh, make this correction is get to your coupling, get to your single hand wheel, and tighten in that one side of the roll. And at this point in time, it's just a visual inspection. Nothing really special about it. What I'm looking for is an even coverage across this roll through the face length of the roll. As you can tell, we're tightening this side. You can start seeing that groove pattern a little bit more. And again, you want that groove pattern doing the work for you. Another common issue we see is uneven glue coverage on the part itself. Uh, a way to compensate for that is your elevator setting. Uh, if you're seeing missed parts or you're getting low areas that aren't getting touched, you do want to go down on that setting. So as my operator throws the part through, you will see that some parts I did get glue on it and some parts I didn't. That is a common thing of saying, my bowl is not even touching my part at all. So go to your elevator, go down 10, no more than 20 thousandths at a time to get, make sure you get that coverage that you need. So when I'm visually looking at this, I'm looking at a groove pattern that doesn't necessarily have full coverage of that panel yet. Uh, but that's okay. That groove pattern gives you the peaks and valleys of the adhesive. It's trying to build on adhesives in the high areas and in the low areas is going to get filled in. And what I mean by filled in is when it goes into the laminating portion. Uh, whenever this gets in there into a cold press, a hot press, or even a knit press, uh, that the groove pattern is designed to do is it squishes down those peaks and valleys to give you a uniform coverage. So you do want to see this groove pattern while you're applying panels. So what you're seeing here on this roll is what's sometimes called roping, but what you're doing is overexceeding what that groove pattern can provide. As you can tell, I don't really see a groove pattern on my roll anymore. And this is a common mistake when you're flooding the roll and putting it on the part and you're trying to reach your gram weights and you, and, and you have to get it to this point to achieve your gram weights. What I'm gonna have my uh, operator do is push it through and this is what you're going to see when you're trying to put on too much glue.
As you can tell, I just got a mess. So I, what we call this is sometimes dubbing off or you're pushing off the back edge there, as you can see, or pushing off the sides. What's happening is, is, this, is this panel can only take so much glue and you're over exceeding what you got uh, from a panel point of view and from your groove point of view. So uh, in order to achieve this and get your right groove patterns, you're gonna have to cut your coat weight in order to see that groove. So to get this corrected, uh, I'll have you visually look at this roll. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna push my doctor roll back into place. And what you wanna see from a visual standpoint is that groove pattern. Anything over that groove pattern is adhesive you can't control anymore. So let that groove pattern do the work for you. And if that groove pattern is not doing the work for you, it sounds like you've got a worn grooved roll and you need to get it in for reconditioning. To cap it all off, a few final notes to talk about. We recommend at Black Brothers to reach out to your adhesive supplier to determine the appropriate amount of gram weight or mills they would recommend on your substrates. Additionally, talking to them about how that adhesive reacts inside the roll coater, temperatures, water, all that plays a part in how you apply your adhesives. So getting them involved as well in this conversation is vital to making sure that you put down the right amount of adhesive. Uh, we also recommend frequency of doing this process that we just did, left, center, right, to make sure that your gram weights are accurate from morning to noon to night to a 24 seven process, frequently as possible to make sure you're monitoring that. And then finally, that groove pattern, uh, I, I've touched on it very, very frequently, is that let that groove pattern do the work for you. Uh, this specific groove pattern that we've designed in-house is designed for 10 grams per square foot. We can also design and manufacture many different types of groove patterns to match the adhesive, to match the substrate, and to match down the amount of grams per square foot you would like to provide. So if that, gra if that groove pattern is not doing the work for you, please contact, contact Black Brothers Customer Service and we'll get in touch with a rep to help you figure out your groove pattern for you.